Hi, this is Mason Sperling with TC News on February 15th, and Evan will be joining me later. Today we have Portland West Rocks with Eva Bus, Book Review, Amaya Milan, Game Review, Aiden Reynolds, Random Bits of Knowledge, Allie Daly, Movie Movie Review, Nate Peters, and Minute Meal, Caleb Kepley, TV you should be watching with Maverick Houston. And don't forget, President's Day is coming up Monday, so get ready to honor our past presidents. And no school. And tomorrow is our last turn day for the fundraiser, so hopefully you sold enough for the glow party, which is only eight items. And a snack pack is two, and you get one emoji for every three items that you sell. And congrats to everyone who made the track and football teams. We were unable to get the information due to the time of this recording. But go be East. Now to Portland West Rocks with Eva Buss. Hi, this is Eva Buss with DC News. Today I have Michaela Mandrell. For Portland West Rocks, I am going to show you one of Michaela's talents, which is playing the saxophone. So, Michaela, how long have you been playing instruments, and can um, you play any others? I can play only one instrument, and that's pretty much it. And I've been playing the saxophone for a year. Okay. Did someone in your family persuade you to play? If so, why? Um, my dad, actually, he um, persuaded me to... <laughs> do the saxophone. He showed me videos and told me how it, an interesting the saxophone is. So that's pretty much it. Lastly, what is your favorite song to play and will you play it for us? Uh, my favorite song is Old MacDonald <laughs> because it's easy to play and sure, I'll play it for you guys. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, Michaela, for playing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Well, it looks like it's it for now. Now to my Milan with book review. This is my Milan with TCN News, and today I have book review. The book I'm going to be reviewing is The Hunger Games. In the book, Katniss Everdeen lives in a place built from the ruins of our country. The capital was once surrounded by 13 districts. One day, the 13th district decided to rebel, and the capital was forced to destroy it. This is why the Hunger Games were made. It was to show all the remaining districts that they could kill everyone and anyone instantly. A boy and a girl are chosen from each district to compete in the Hunger Games and fight till the death until one contestant is left. When Katniss's young sister, Prim, was chosen as tribute, Katniss decided to step in and volunteer. The boy that was chosen to be another tribute with her was Peter Mellark. Will Katniss make it home to be with her sister and her mother? I will leave that to you to find out in the book. In my opinion, I would give the book a 9 because of the plot and because of the realistic seeming characters. Now to book review with Aiden Reynolds. Hello, my name is Aiden Reynolds, and today I have a game review. The game I will be reviewing is Fallout New Vegas. The game starts off with you being shot in the head. What a wonderful day way to start off your day. After the tutorial, you can go after Benny to get revenge, join the NCR or Caesar's Legion over the fight, over the fight of Hoover Dam, or you can do whatever else you want to. For the game's creation, Bethesda hired Obsidian Entertainment. It is uh, considered to be the best Fallout game yet. Also, you can get a companion named Eddie. If you play the game, you'll know I mentioned him. 
I rate the game a 10 out of 10 because for when it came out, it had excellent graphics. It has a fun storyline. It does basically everything correct. And it's just very fun to hop into, play, and then leave, or just play for hours on end. Now to the news desk with Evan and Mason. Hello again, everyone. Remember, two people at each side of the register, so you can't see other people's personal information. At lunch, speaking of which we have today, chicken nuggets, roll, mini burgers, seasoned potato wedges, garden salad, oranges, and fresh grapes. Tomorrow we will have queso nachos, queso chicken nachos, taco trimmings, refried beans, corn, red 100% juice slush, and fresh fruit cup. Now to Allie Daily with random bits of knowledge. Hello, Portland West. This is Allie Daily with TCN News with some random bits of knowledge. First, did you know a rat can squeeze through a hole the size of a quarter because it has a collapsible skeleton? Second, the right ear is better for hearing speech and the left ear is better for hearing music. Last, Humans spend about 25 years of their life sleeping. This has been Ali Daly with TCN News. Now to Nate Peters with Movie Review. Did you ever make anything happen? Anything you couldn't explain? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. In a few moments, you will pass through these doors and join your classmates. Keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Good afternoon, class. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Stick your right hand over the broom and say up. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Mr. Longbottom, oh. Mr. Longbottom, oh. Mr. Longbottom, exactly where do you think you're going? Do you really have the scar? Oh. Wicked. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. First years should note that the dark forest is strictly forbidden. There's no magic to be used between the classes and the corridors. Petrificus Topalus. The third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. I understand this, Harry, because it's very important. Not all wizards are good. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. I think it is clear that we can expect great things from you. Hi, this is Nate Peters from TCN News, and this is Movie Review. The movie I'm reviewing is one of my favorites, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It is about a boy named Harry Potter. His adopted family is mean to him, but then he gets a letter from Hogwarts, a wizard school, that competes in games to see who's the best team. The, one of the games is Quidditch. Will Harry's team win? I give this movie an 8 out of 10. It has a great storyline, but it needs to work on background. This is Kel Kepler with Minimil, and I will be making a sequel to the Wheezies, but the Wheezy. It's Wheezies with a pat. So basically, you first you just need the Triscuit crackers. And we have a shredded cheese, but we got Mexican this time. 
little bits of pepperoni, and some pizza sauce. So let's get some let's get some of these um little just crackers on there. Then grab some pepperoni. And if you like meat a lot, then you can use a little bit extra, but I'm just gonna use three. Because I don't want to overflow it. And basically, you just have the pepperonis on there, and you grab some cheese, and just sit there and just put it all over it. Get some good tasty pizza sauce on it. And spread the pizza sauce around where you have all the little pizza things. And then you're gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or so. So while we're waiting, I'll introduce you to my assistant who is gonna um, help me taste test it. Meet M. Freeman. So Evan, are you excited about trying my new dish? Please? Yes. Alright. So basically we're gonna do it in a few minutes and make sure you when you get done with it, you leave it in the microwave for like one minute to make sure you don't burn yourself. Let's do this now. Ooh, that looks good. And then well, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. So that's what it's gonna basically look like about it. That's gonna look like when it's when it's done. Choose one of it and then taste my glorious masterpiece. That's all we got for Minute Meal. This was Care Carefully and Evan Freeman with Minute Meal. Hello there, Portland West. I'm Maverick Houston, and today I'll be giving you TV you should be watching. Today I will talk about a popular television series on Netflix called Stranger Things, created by the Duffer Brothers. This television series is about a pro private government laboratory led by Dr. Brenner in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana. The laboratory is secretly doing experiments on a child named Eleven. They steal her from her mother and give the mother drugs to make her forget about her daughter. She is taken away because she has special telekinetic powers that scientists desperately want to study. In one experiment, the observing scientists place Eleven in a saltwater filled tank to see if she can communicate with some other world or dimension. While doing so, she accidentally finds a creature and opens a gate to the other world and the creatures are released. She finally escapes this horrifying laboratory. Around this, a group of friends by the names of Mike, Dustin, Lucas, and Will are traveling home. The, mon the monsters have been released from the laboratory and captures Will and takes him to a place known as the Upside Down. Soon, everyone, everyone around Hawkins finds out about the dis disappearance of Will and are left in confusion. Will the laboratory be able to hide their mistake? Is Eleven any help? Is Will ever found? And does the gate ever get closed? These are all questions I will leave for you to find out in the popular series of Stranger Things. Now back to the news desk. Our quote of the day is from Steve Jobs. The only way to do great work is to love what you do. One last thing, parent-teacher conferences are coming up. I wish luck to all who will be grounded soon. But that's all we have for today.